Hello guys. So today we're going to see how to optimize an attachment using Onyx F software. As you can see on this design, we have extrusion on this first molar on the first step. Okay. We already made the staging, but we're not going to talk about this. And okay. So the first thing we need to do is to place a smaller attachment simulating the extrusion of the tooth. Okay, so let's say we're going to place this, the attachment over there, okay? So we have the attachment from the beginning to the end because we haven't made any staging on the attachment. But now, what are we going to do? We're going to create a new point so we, put, so we can put another attachment into this tooth. We click the tooth, select new point, current on step one, only on step one, because the extrusion movement ends on step one. We click on the tooth, and now we have a new point so we can place another attachment on the same tooth. And we click on the same attachment, but one millimeter bigger. We put the attachment on the same position that we place the previous attachment. And we need to make sure that only the active surface is in touch with the other attachment. So this is, this is kind of the tricky part because you have to be very, very precise. It might take you a while, but if you want to make an optimized attachment, this could be the solution. Okay, so we try to make it the exact position. We need to tilt it a little bit. We can also use these tools to move the to move the attachment, but I usually work with this. So there you go. We're almost done. And there you go. So as you can see, now only the active surface of the attachment is in contact with the other one. And you can see we have a lot of space between, between one and the other. You can put it in a little bit more so you don't have much space here because what you need is the space for the extrusion to be made. So as you can see now, only the active surface is in contact and when we go to the step zero, there is no big attachment. So what are we going to do now? So now we delete the first small attachment current on step one, and we will only have this attachment on the template. And on the other steps, it will return to the previous attachment. So you can see now, when the extrusion starts, it pops out the other blue and bigger attachment, having only the surface contact, the, surf, the active surface in contact. When it ends the step one, it goes back to the other attachment because we haven't programmed to eliminate the other attachment on these steps. And that's how you create a optimized attachment. I hope you like this video.